all you. You got this? Yeah. You got this? Yeah. I heard about Holly through our marketing team uh, and a video that they showed us with work that she had done with the team at Telluride. It was, it's always exciting to meet someone that, that is pumped about the sport and wants to be able to progress. The goal is to make snowboarding easier for Holly because right now there's a lot of challenges that stand in her way just due to the products that she's riding. Telluride crew did an amazing job. We're kind of just piggybacking off of them in order to make better gear for her. Is there a, pre yeah. a preferred side that you like to turn on, like heel side or foot side? I'm dead with heel because, I don't know, I've just never been that great with toe. Mm -hmm. Holly said that she likes heel turns and has been struggling with toe side turns for two reasons. One of which, when she starts initiating her turns, it almost seems like the board is folding on itself because there's not enough support from the, the board that she's on. The second reason is that she's not able to get her weight up and over because she has some issues flexing her ankles, which prohibits her from making those turns. So for her, we worked to strengthen the board torsionally, and we also stiffened it from underfoot to contact points. That way, when she starts actually initiating this turn, it's gonna be a lot cleaner and easier to actually push through that turn. And then I've actually taken away all the material from the very top of Holly's boots to allow her to actually flex her knees and not have the top of the tongue make contact with her kneecap. As for her bindings, what we've learned from working with adaptive riders in the past is that a heel wedge can really get you over your toes and, and benefit you and allow you to actually make those toe side turns properly. So I figured out the wedge would make a difference for her. We noticed that the Telluride team had mostly been focusing on her hard goods versus what she had on the rest of her body. The clothing usually, it's like fine for like everything that's not my limbs. Like my arms and my legs are the stuff I have problems with because they're shorter. She often gets a lot of stack up in her forearm and her lower legs, and then she's not necessarily able to find things that are the right, that are the right length and width. So we're hoping that we can create a more streamlined kit for her to avoid some of those stack ups. Ultimately, we wanted to be able to capture her unique silhouette. So we worked with Mport, a company based in Australia, to scan her body and get all of the precise measurements that we needed to scale. Uh, we're then able to put that into digital pattern making system and be able to build our garments digitally on body. We'll then transfer that over into flat pattern making and create garments based off of that. But we're gonna initially create them digitally on an avatar that is her exact body proportions. So yeah, Holly's on the other side of the world in Australia and Microsoft Teams made it possible to be able to speak with her throughout the entire R&D process. I'm really excited to show them what we've done. Yeah, Holly, we've been working on a bunch of your stuff, so I'm pretty stoked to show you what we've got so far. I'm so excited. We got your board. That's so cool. Here's the truncated boot. So I'm gonna take that section of the tongue off. How do you think of this? Tell us about how what it was like to get scanned. It was really cool. Well, we used that image to fit all your garments, too. Whoa. <laughs> Here's your jacket. I was hoping we could send you like the boots and the bindings and you guys can do some carpet testing at home. Snowboarding brings freedom and fun into my life. I've met so many people from snowboarding. Everyone else can do it and so can I. When you ask any snowboarder why they like to ride, it's usually some sort of freedom associated with that. And if we can provide that to her, that'd be a major win. <laughs> I'm really excited to see her progress from where she's at and really take it to some, some steeper hills, for sure. Cause she, she's got that. <laughs> if you really want to do something, you can. Nothing's really stopping you. It may take years or weeks, but if you really want to do it, you can and you will. <laughs>